It's simple. Just bring me or a trade out with your souls. So crafting. Here we can craft. To craft the scimitar, for example, to plus one we need two sharp stone. We have five, so we could upgrade. So everything you do for upgrading revolves around these stones, the upgrade materials. Here, hard stone, we have three. We need, uh, we we need, yeah, we need three. We have five, so on and so forth. So that's how the upgrading is here. It's not titanite anymore. It's these these upgrade uh, stones and. Most of the upgrade stuff comes from crystal lizards. If you know Dark Souls 1 and 2, you know the crystal lizards already. Oh, these guys are already here now. Okay, they weren't here before, I think. So we can talk to them real quick. Oh my. But that's how you how upgrade most happened? of the time, or all the time. Has God abandoned us for failing to show proper respect to King Alant? Oh, Mbasa. Oh, Mbasa. A little meme, I guess. But. Yeah, compare that, you need, for the first upgrade, you already need, like, two or three stones. While with three, you could already put a weapon to plus two in Dark Souls. So, yeah, that's how that is there. You must be another disciple of God. I, too, am on a quest to fight the demons in the name of the Lord. May I share God's power with you? Do not be bashful. We are both cut from the same cloth. Are we? He is the miracle guy. I don't have enough miracle juice. Evacuate is a really good one. I might get that at some point. I'm not sure though. But he's the miracle guy. I see. I pray. Evacuate is good. Evacuate is like a homeward bone. You don't have that normally. And then we have another guy here. I have sinned. I swore allegiance to Saint Abane. But was of no use to him. And now I have run away and abandoned his honorableness. Okay. Does he say anything else? Oh Lord, punish me. For I have not the strength to punish myself. I think I could punish him. I don't know if that's a good idea though. Weapon wise, I'm actually gonna get a weapon that is. Since I'm so rusty, I think I'm going to resort to using it. It's a noob weapon. It's a noob weapon. Getting there is not as easy as you might think. It's not a Drake Sword easiness where you just stand there and chuck arrows at him. So I think I'm going to do that now. I I'm going to try. I don't know if I'm going to get there, but... We are going to go into 4-2. That's how you label the, the levels. The first thing we did in Boletaria was 1-1. So when you do 1-1, one, one, you get into 1-2, and on that, so on and so forth. That's how you name the levels. So right now I'm going into 4-1, which is the Shrine of Storms. Really disgusting level at the start, because you're really weak, and the enemies there pretty much two-shot you. They do a lot of damage. They take really low amounts of damage. So everything here is out to get you, but I need to get you to get a weapon that is gonna make stuff a lot easier. I might die, but it's not that big of a deal. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh god. I'm dead. Oh, my monitor is out! Oh, what the fuck was that? I'm dead. I need him to do the big overhead. So I can heal. Or die, I guess. Yeah, I don't think I can get the weapon. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to fight them anymore. They are really aggressive. As you can see, they do a shit ton of damage. Like, uh, I hate my weapon, by the way. I really hate that weapon. It has a weird moveset where when you push a button, he does a weird jump back. Really fucking weird. Let's try it again. I need that weapon, man. Oh 
Oh god. Oh god. What you want is, you want them to do that? Oh god, I'm so greedy. And you don't want that. Because then you... Look at the souls though, that's a lot of souls. And he dropped Bladestone, wow, that was lucky. They're not actually that hard, now that I realize it. You just need to be... Smart about it. The weapon that I want is really close. Up there, that's actually the weapon that we want. To get there... It's gonna be interesting. Oh shit. Normally I would like to punish this big overhead, but I don't feel confident in it. Okay. Wasting my herbs here, that's not that good. My half moon. Now for these, there is a archer dude up there. He does a shit ton of damage, so... You wanna pull this guy... And pull him out of archer range. The archer shoots magical arrows, so that's really... The main thing that's... Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I might take a lot of damage. Okay, that was good. That's the easiest way to fight them, in my opinion. Just... Let him dink off your shield like that. Hit him once. You can hit him twice because they most of the time will roll away. But yeah, they are a bitch and a half to fight. Really easy to die to. Really easy to die to. At the start, because they do the huge amounts of damage. Now this is one place where the ring comes into play. Bye. Now this is a spot that you need to be careful because if you're unlucky you will double pull. And if you look at these guys you obviously Don't want to double pull these fuckers. Now the main problem here is... Once you've killed these guys, it's not even... It's not done. It's getting harder. At least if I don't get the move that you want to get. Oh god, I punched. Okay, that's good, that's good. Soul remains. Are they like alluring skulls? 